Well, Mac folks, one and all, to let's play Goblins 3. My original assumption was indeed correct, I just wasn't doing it fast enough. Hello, little guard! You are an annoying bugger, and I'm gonna deal with you. With a certified wear blouse method, it's called Hammer to the Face! <laughs> anyway, let's take his pop gun. And then we'll talk to Xena. We'll use our wear blount charm. Hey buddy, how's it going? She'd love to see Colossus smash with a rock. Well, we'll show her. Whoa, wear blount! That was a bit extreme. But well, we can nick a wand. Well, you have a way with women. It's not the right way, but it is indeed a way. So, next step, getting that fennel. This is a long, convoluted puzzle. Fulvert is going to stand on the plate and we're going to look at the vegetables. Remember how that chandelier we couldn't reach? Bet we can reach it now. You seem quite happy now. I wonder why. As where Blount does his Indiana Jones trick. Whee! I wonder if the wand can be used on the candle. The passage needs to block. Oh. That is indeed not correct. I, the shadow of the fountain. Okay. So if we take the candle now, the shadow of the candle looks a lot like Blount for some reason. So don't headbutt it. There we go. I command the opening too. Excellent. And one more, just for good measure. Bingo. So we can use that. No, we can't use the candle anymore. Now, we have another puzzle coming, which is even more complicated. Remember that fireplace? Remember that thing that was thrown at the cat? We can do something with that. But we have to hide behind the fireplace to do it. something, and it's going to hit the skull. Or it would have if I'd have timed it better. Oh, fine, get, get agitated again. Do it better this time. Do it now. There we go, that should do the trick. Seems to do a trick after all. Oh well. Door time. We need those spectacles. Now I think the spectacles are going to be an odd puzzle. Let's see if we can grab these. Oh God, he's struggling. Desperately. I you should stand on this flagstone, bla um, chump. Look at him! Oh god, it's the glasses! I wanna get the glasses! <laughs> this is the correct place to stand. And we have indeed saved the glasses. We 
need those glasses are only enough to get the onion. You heard me right. We're going to get the onion with them. And for the time being, we'll probably just go to the mouth of the fountain and see King Bod. Sure he's a nice guy. We'll use the spectacles on the onion. Chemical weapons. What do he looks like with glasses on? <laughs> Absurd. That's what he looks like. For now, we'll just go into the mouth of the fountain. Oh, Tails going heads I don't. Oh, he's going in. Hey! He's very happy to be interviewed by Werblount. He ain't the happiest, he ain't the prettiest of chaps either. Oh dear. No doubt by King Bod. A hammer? Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, I think that is kind of dangerous. That's quite true. A gun? No? <laughs> A what? He thinks it's ugly. <laughs> Grow exit? A coin? <laughs> okay, the last item we have is the hand. Surely he can't want this. Okay, he did want that. He looks pleased. This will help him discipline his son. Oh. oh! Okay, we can do that. Hello, Buffoon. You're surely not his son, are you? Ability, what master? Let's talk to man. Oh! You will! Why don't we smack him over the head with a hammer? No? Popgun him? <laughs> no, I do need that sharp object actually to get the skull. Is there anything I can pick up here at all? There's a cage up there. Tebow, the son of King Bod. Hello! <laughs> what are the dishes? Is there anything we can get from there? And there's the slipper. Hey, we've got a plate. Oh, you can't do it either. Huh? They only have meat here! Oh, what a shock. Are you a vegetarian, Blount? <laughs> I think you are, aren't you? Well, when we come back, folks, we will continue to explore. And hopefully we'll get that sharp object off that dude. We probably won't for a while. So until then, folks, until then.